well, welcome to my playground, or welcome to my cauldron, or oh, I don't know, I'm going to try and make these. Now let me, so you can just about see, I'm going to rotate, there we go. So I'm going to try making this, I'm going to try making this. These are the secret vial shaker thingamajiggies. Now apparently what I need to do is get some distilled water and dishwashing liquid is what can be used for the liquid that goes inside. All new to me. Let's get these set though first. And because this is UV resin, it's going to be set with the torch and it will be reasonably instant. Again, no idea what I'm doing. You can watch me have some fun. All right, so I got this. You saw this set um, unpacked the other day. I got, um, I watched the video that was on that link um, on the card and I found out, that needs to stay. I found out that the two different resins have two different functions. So this is the UV resin for silicon molds. So that's the stuff that you use with this. And the other resin was thin stuff and that's what you use with the bezels. Now it was as I was unpacking, I remembered that I made an offer that I would potentially go live and give you guys an option of which bezel we would create together. So I'm going to have to wait. Um, the problem being that the times that I'm available to go live, you guys in the States are asleep. And that's not um, meaning I couldn't go live because, you know, I could do it with some more Australian viewers. But um, it's trying to make it available for a wider audience, which is potentially why I don't do many lives. Oops. I'm trying to get this off without actually spilling it up. Okay. Is that? I have no idea how many this makes. So, I'm guessing it will make the two at least. So we need a little bit of resin, probably that much. And I was going to do a yellow bottom. Now, when I saw this being made, um, why aren't you coming out? going up to the top. I'm waiting for this to go and explode on me. Alright, sticky tweezers. It may not be open. I don't know if I have to cut something off. Oh, okay. saw the video there was like two or three drops only. Yeah. Go. And what I mix with is well I'm not sure it matters really but this is silicon as well. thing that I'm going to have to rig one of my close-up cameras for so that you get to see it in a bit more detail. I'm just running it in one end like I saw in the video and it's spilling into the little love heart bits. Actually quite glad I've done it from this side. Because the other side is bigger. Alright, so let's do that because that's what it's 
it's made for, and we'll try and make it kind of green. Alright. That one looks like it's open. Nope. Not feeling like it's open. So, again. same I can always top it up I can't necessarily fix it if it's too many okay three and a bit blobs give it a mix and pour it in now unfortunately with me taking so freaking long This isn't mixing quite how I want it to. So what it's done is it's now going to be horizontally multicolored. Okay, plenty of resin to go. I said I was going to use gloves, well, you know, I think I also said I'll live dangerously too. Okay. Um, maybe we'll just go for the clear because it's got some blue in it. And I can give it a bit of a stir. Level, it's still concaving down, so I can go that little bit more. Right. Now, I didn't think to set it halfway through each process. You can actually do it up to five mil thick. It just takes a long time. Um, what I should also have done is something I didn't actually anticipate doing is get my um, UV lamp, the nail lamp. So I will do that maybe for the next one. I'll pause and see if we can do that. So the top of this little perfume bottle is more blue and the bottom is going to be more red, or sorry, more yellow even. Um, I don't know if I can see it setting. It actually says it takes eight to ten minutes. Um, the videos do not give you that impression whatsoever. But, um, yeah, look, it's it's a bit of an experiment. I went on to AliExpress last night thinking oh my god this is going to be so much fun and I found bezels that I want and then my brain is just going ping 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 with all these different ideas and it's like oh if this really takes off for me as in it's fun for me to do then it could be something that I'll maybe sell from my page on Facebook as um, cover minders maybe or something we'll see um, 
but yeah, um, depending on how easy it is, um, and then the moulds, the, the silicon moulds I think are probably the hardest thing to get in good quality. No, Sophie. Okay, no, not Flopsy. What? Sticky, sticky, sticky. No, you're not gonna stay here. Okay, it's Flopsy. Let Sophie. Okay, down here. Sit down. Go, go. Oh, poor baby. There's some nice swirly bits going on in here, that's for sure. Um, still moving, which tells me it's still soft down this end. So, what I will do... I'll pause. I'll go and get my nail thing. I'll tidy up here a little bit. I was thinking of putting some glitter in, hence the glitter tubs being over there. Um, let me set this stuff, because this is um, just dribbles, and we'll see how it sets. Because this is apparently what you do to clean it up. As you set it, and then you can um, peel it off. You see, it's, that side's still wet. You can leave it in sunlight as well. That was a method of drying. I've seen Fee to be able to do. Um, although she didn't seem to take very long to get it to dry either. Let's say I have no idea what I'm doing and I'm off camera, so sorry about that. Um, yeah, just shining the light on all of this goop. See, it's starting to peel off there. Your, if you ever get your fingernails done, it's kind of like um, your fingernails, the sticky residue that you feel on your nails before they give it a clean. Alright. I'll pop that in the bin. I'll go and get my nail thingamajiggy. And... I will be back when well, I've got a bit of a setup happening. Alright. Alright, I'm back. 
I've got my nail curing the box. It was about as interesting as watching paint dry, to be honest. All you could see was the top of the lid. So, excuse me while I eat a Malteser. I've put this on in the timer. I've moved this a bit. Ooh, I'm getting seepage. Or maybe it's just a blob that's come off. I think it might just be a blob. So, I think it's fully set. And I've watched Jen, Mindy, not Mindy, Mini Diamond Girl, remove her moulds by just kind of wriggling a bit and hopefully popping it out. And it's a little bit sticky. Like I say, it's typical for the post nail kind of yicky, sticky feeling. So I will give the torch another go on the underneath because it was only done from the top. And this will stick hopefully any little dregs or little bits. But I don't anticipate it's not going to remain slightly sticky. Okay, now the idea being that I cut a disc of the film, remove the sticky bit, I stick it on there and I flip it over put another bit of resin on the inside and you um, fill it with the shaker stuff and fill it with the the shaker fluid. The shaker fluid doesn't come with the kit, with the starter kit, which I was disappointed with, but anyway. Um, fill it with the shaker fluid, seal it up, and you um, end up with a fully sealed, hopefully, um, little trinket um, that won't stand. But if I pop a magnet into it and into the fluid, and it's a good enough magnet, it will actually stick it to another magnet outside. That's the theory. That's my theory, anyway. Um, I did get some magnets for resin making. They are roughly the size of maybe a five cent coin. Um, so they will fit in. And there you go, there's my little shaker. So I will try and zoom you in so you can see all the pretty colors. All right. So we've got yellow and blue mixed in. So I put the yellow in here and I put the blue in here and they've merged together because it sat there for longer than it should. So you can see how it's not fully mixed there. It's actually really, really thin. I probably could have stirred it a bit within the mold to get the blue, blue and the yellow to mix and merge a bit more. You get to see how the yellow has kind of stayed separate there. But it's, look, it's it's interesting. Um, I think ideally what I would do in future is have, if I can, two of these little beakers on the go. So I've got my colours mixed and it's almost yellow one end, blue in the other or whatever and it's almost instant. So these should just pop out. I'll give it a bit of a wipe. Some of this is just pigment. There we go. So technically, that's one. Can't, you can't see that one there, so I'm going to pop it here. So you can... Okay, so there's one. This little one is basically just a heart and moon. Um, I'll get 
take a tiny bit of resin out from in the moon. Um, all right, let's do red and yellow. I think I go for the lighter color first again. I can't tell how much liquid is left in this at all. But I'll tell you what, this is 25 grams. It's not enough. It really feels like it's getting quite light. Um, again, on Ali, I can order one and 200, sorry. I can order 25, 50, 100, and some of them do um, 200 grams. Soft resin in 200 grams is a little bit rarer. It works out for me at around about 25, 25, 30, no, I think it was 38 at the most um, extreme. again for my liking for my liking so what I might try this time around is I'm gonna tip it interesting. It seems like it's almost growing. And I've got plenty of leftover, so I'm going to put it into a star. And I actually have a bit of spillage, so I'm going to do this too, and just move it into the next door neighbour. These top bits will come off. Having this silicon as flexible as it is, as it is means that the <laughs> you, you're not really getting any firm movements behind it. Alright, so let me scrape that off, pop that there, and I'm just going to top this off with clear. It's almost like it grows in bubble. Okay, so I can see this one's a little bit raised. I think this one still has a bit of a concave and that bubble has just burst, which is awesome. I don't want bubbles. All right, I'm going to get this. I will get this. I will pop that in as well. Might as well kill all the birds with the stones and pop that on. Um, and give a bit of a tidy up. Alright. 
So the dyes are going to last me forever and a day. I really didn't use all that much. The resin feels really light. Now it says it's 25 grams. Let's see if I can get this to work. It says 18, but that's going to be without the bottle. So I weigh this one. Yeah, 34. So 34 minus 25. There's about eight grams left in this then. Um, and it's taken. Um, Thirty-four down to um, eighteen. That's sixteen. Um, so it's at least eight grams each for one of these little shakers. Um, to give you an idea of volume weight you're using. Um, yeah, not going to take an awful lot of um, stuff to run out so while the starter kits are great the packs are great you're not going to get many molds so I'm going to have to if I'm going to invest in doing this as a, a thing um, I am definitely going to have to um, invest in bigger bottles um, these while cute while handy while playing are handy but 100 mil or 100 grams would be much better 200 would be ideal, um, especially for something like this. I do have my big bottle, of course, which is a hard resin as well, which will work. And that's a 200 gram bottle. Um, I have the leftovers from my previous kit, which I've kept standing upright. I've now started a container. I've got a 14 litre tub that I've got all the boxes, or the two boxes, not all. Um, this is done. Let's see if it's cooked. Okay, well that's it. And that just clicked off. So there you go, that's awesome. And this should also do the same. Here's my tweezers and I'll give it a bit of a wipe and a clean up when I'm done anyway Let's see how we go scary 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 doing this uh, something funky went on there maybe a bubble There's a star. Uh, apparently what you do with this is get a fine grade um, No, that's still somewhat soft. You get a fine grade um, sandpaper and you sand them off to even off the edges. And that's it. Um, okay. Cleaning up is a doozy. Um, once you've got it to that point, warm soapy water is what I've heard um, to care for it. My fingers feel like that yucky sticky from the cheap nails. I've had cheap nails done once. Um, I'm going to give these a flip while the timer is halfway through. Let's throw that in for good measure. It's not going to hurt to have more time than it needs. Um, I think what would hurt is not having enough time. So, um, yeah, we'll let that set. Um, this is some hard resin I've had from somebody else, and you can hear how hard that is. So that's really the crisp snap that I'm after. 
Um, yeah, don't really want to take any chances. This gel is a time setting one. Um, and again, it's got a fair bit of click factor in a crisp finish. So yeah, that's really what I'm after with these little shakers. quite hot but then the lights hot as well and that's okay so there you go I will figure out the distilled water oops they're slightly off camera for you I will figure out the distilled water um I just need to go to my supermarket for that that one's off camera as well there you go um yeah the I'm not entirely sure what the supermarket will call distilled water. I don't know if that's in the cleaning section or or what. I'll find out. I don't imagine it's going to be difficult to find. Um, I will make this. I'll give this a wipe. And um, yeah, it's a thing. Um, it probably won't be. I don't know. I'm I'm trying to think while I'm doing that's my problem so um, I apologize if the um, audio track is a little bit odd yeah it's just me to try, trying to think um, it's me just I suppose pausing um, not really knowing what I'm doing so I'm not having the brain flow and everything else that you're probably used to when I'm doing whip and chat because that's a little more like familiar territory. It's a bit like driving and you can't drive a car with the radio on initially so um, yeah. Um, let me put these center place. How cute is that? It is really kind of cute. Um, this little red has a clear bit in the center kind of as you might remember it only had a little bit of the red left and then I dribbled in just some clear resin so it's mixed quite well this one was the red at one end and the yellow at the other and it will just continue to harden um, as I go and that can possibly be more finessed with some little sanding tools and I need to finish these off so again simple shapes I'll try and do a template and um, yeah we'll um, we'll see how we go I will try and keep you posted if it doesn't work doing the video I might just do Instagram photos and we'll do that initially and um, I'll work out what I'm doing maybe off camera and it could be that in future if I do it, I'll give you some um, music tracks or something else to listen to. Thanks for watching me play and um, not knowing what I'm doing.